Oh, oh my god! I, oh my god! I'm seen. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. Hey, buddy, watch this. Old and new Big Warrior fused together sounded really cool. I mean, I don't know if we'll do like Woke Cleaver or anything, but but uh, having big minions with bruising in particular seems pretty sweet. Uh, auto armaments is kind of bad with bruising. Or not with bruising, but with Big Warrior. Like, you don't love pulling this one out of your deck. Brewster's a little better to pull out of your deck with Big Warrior. So we could maybe go Brewster. It's also just like, you know, recruit, basically, so... Let's try to let's try to force Brewster. It's been a long time since I played Brewster the Brutal. He looks sick though. So I want I want uh, big warrior stuff. I, I guess that's gather your party. I don't know. It still seems so slow. Cowardly Grunt is better. Provoke. It's a card we're gonna want. I think we're gonna need at least one big rush minion, maybe two, to make Brewster feel worth it. I don't know if there are any though. Jeez, are there any big ones? Oh man. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> Brewster doesn't really have any good big rush minions. It's like claw machine and that's it. Uh, I mean, run thacks again. Okay, but I don't love run thack. It's not really what I'm looking for. So maybe we can deal with claw machine. I mean, frankly, like we're going to have to draw these in the exact right order now too. Not to say that Brewster's bad anyway, though, because Brewster's like kind of good on his own. He's just a big rush guy. He's not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. And we could definitely find... Um, we could definitely find support for that later too, some way or another. Okay. Uh, I don't want Woke Cleaver. That's way too slow. So I need stuff now that like fills in our early game and keeps us alive. You know, Athletic Studies is a great example of that. Uh, we're probably gonna want like a, a brawl for sure. Any other example? Oh, barricades a good idea. Yeah, barricades great. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, weapons are another way for us to uh, solve this same problem. So like a three drop weapon in particular might be nice. Oh, we could also go coerce. I like axe. I like ceremonial mall. Okay. I think axe is probably just better. I think four drop weapons we are, are maybe just a hair slow. I actually want to go a tad faster than a four drop weapon. Anything else that generates me minions? I like minions in particular. The reason I'm focused on early game minion generation is because of our hero power. Like, it makes our hero power notably better. I need, like, three athletic studies, basically, is what I'm getting at. I mean, like, Blood to Acres, okay. It kind of creates a minion, right? I think I think Gather is not good enough. Minefield's a good removal card for early game. I do like Minefield. Yeah, let's do a Minefield. That's a good idea. I think I'm going to take Blood to freaking Icker. Because I could use the hero power with it, honestly. Kargath's not in the pool, actually. He's Outlands rotated. It's not the same pool as standard. I don't think this will work either, so sadly we're probably going to have three totally dead duels runs here, but but it's okay. That happens from time to time. I, I, I could actually do a video. I wonder if people would like that on YouTube or not. Like, uh, you know, it's on the it's on the VODs. Like, everybody sees the failed runs on the VODs. But it might be fun to do, like, uh, failed experiments duels and just showcase the ones that lose, you know? Like, we've had some fun runs today despite losing a lot. That might be a fun idea. Just like once a month or something, right? Do failed runs. Oh boy, these are more expensive than I wanted. Um, is my opponent quest or not? It's the qu uh, question, I guess. I'm going to take the cheap one just because I don't know what else to do. Quest indeed. Okay. Scythe the solid. Do we tempo? I don't think we tempo against zero power, right? I think we hold. Um, the cool news with this is, like, I think if I get a big board, like a troublemaker or something, we'll probably be able to kind of stabilize. Like, that's pretty cool. Uh, but I gotta, you know, gotta stay alive and, and compete until that point, I guess. This is a pretty good combo, actually, on four and then this on five. Hit like a three drop taunt. 
We got our seven, but I need a six right now. Is the minion worth more or is my health worth more? I don't know. Debatable, but for now, I think the minion's worth more. Minions aren't worth a lot against this other hero power, right? Like, it's pretty easy for him to value trade. But uh, might as well make him do it. I can do the same in return, right? Oh, Minefield's a good clear here, maybe. I lose Spell Burst, though, kind of no matter what I do here, unfortunately. I kind of wish he'd gone too wide uh barricade would do the same yeah in every scenario i lose spell burst here so uh we could maybe look for a barricade but i'd still lose spell burst i guess what difference does it make wow very expensive <sighs> is minefield good here just to spin the mana and fill in the curve and preserve my weapon for next turn yes yeah Really, really, really sad that I didn't hit a cheaper card. I, I could have provoke traded here to make sure I have a six drop next turn, but I, I think I need to provoke the turn I play the taunt to maybe clear a board. That may not be true. Oh my god, we actually whiffed on this. What's annoying now is that my commencement kind of sucks. The moment the Brewster's pretty good though, because it pulls the claw machine. If I don't draw the claw. Just hitting both of these being so expensive. What do I get here that's really good? I guess like barricade or coerce maybe. I don't know. Coerce isn't even that good. Brawl's not good. Okay. I'm just gonna lose. We didn't we didn't flip hard enough here, you know? I just had to flip way harder. I need I needed these to be like three drops. The fact that I hit two hyper expensive cards, it's just it's just killing me. And now I know I'll draw claw machine. That will make the Brewster worse. Although, that would give me a pretty good commencement, though. For the record. So maybe that wouldn't be the end of the world. I gotta be I gotta be worried about being alive here soon, though. I'm actually worried about death. I'm at, uh, I'm at two. <laughs> Great. Uh, Guardian Provoke actually, uh, does almost clear, but not quite. Commencement Provoke... If I hit the Cowardly Grunt into Claw Machine, I could clear. Is this just better, though? Because I know I hit Claw Machine, and then, yeah, that's just better. I mean, I'm still dead in a lot of scenarios here, of course, but technically alive. Okay. Can I win here with Grom? No, I well, yeah, actually, if he doesn't clear this or if he takes damage from it, I could. Oh, well, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> so, no, I cannot. Uh, yeah, I would have had, Grom would have been 10, 18, 22. Yeah, if, if he had, like, hit this, for instance, I mean, you know, obviously he's not quite, he's got lethal, but, you know, in a, in a world, in a world. Man, like Crystal Gem just doesn't really help us. Why do we keep getting offered these weird treasures? So I'm like looking at Crystal Gem again, but I'm, I'm just not a Crystal Gem deck. You know, I, I, I don't need the first two turns to be accelerated. I actually need the next few turns to be accelerated. I need to get to seven. I don't need a couple extra mana at the start of a game. So then we've got like Elixir, but I don't have any minions early. Like, I got some random taunts and blood to ichor and stuff, but I, I mean, I like that this, this heat, like, if I take a value trade off a of minion with my hero power, or whatever, this supports that. Like, it heals it up, you know, refreshes or whatever, makes it bigger. If I take this, I'm going to be encouraged to take small minions. The real, another problem we have is, like, how on earth are we going to keep the recruit consistency moving forward? There's, like, no way. None of these really help for Scepter. Crystal Gem, you wouldn't be able to get to a five mana card off coin. So I'm, I'm going to take Elixir. I think it gives the deck the most play. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, well, they're good for the big stuff. They're bad for everything else. Um, can I get to Scepter of Summoning with this current list? This isn't terrible, by the way, but I don't really need Shield of Honor. 
Bomb Wrangler's pretty bad. It's like good with a hero power, actually, but pretty bad for our recruit stuff. Here's my thought. If we get if we if we just need to win one game, I need to win a single game to get to a scepter of summoning, and then we're in business, maybe. But if I can get to one game, just one single victory, then by God, we've got a shot. Oh, this is a great hand. This is like A plus hand. Is this thing a one drop or a two drop? I wonder. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Rokara is pretty good, actually. Yeah, we like Rokara. She could get a good value trade and evolve up okay and everything. We'll probably just go information for now, though. See if we can't get Rokara value. Okay, Stonehill's awesome. It's good value and it evolves. That's great. I might try to hold the discount on uh, Rokara for Claw Machine instead now. Because this evolving into a 7 drop could be nuts. Like a value trade into a 7 drop, you know? Alternatively, that's a great minion for Rokara to hit right now. But it doesn't matter because she loses her stats. So never mind. We don't want to do that. Um... Next turn is looking like blood and tentacles. We'll do that. This is free because it's going to evolve, so we might as well soften that up. That's a four drop, huh? Great. I love that we got a pingable four drop. That's just great news. For some reason, it's like bugged out graphics, too. What's that about? It's got like weird. See that? Weird little lights. I guess we just clear this with Blood Daker instead of getting fancy, right? Like, I don't need the 2-2 in this case. I'm gonna get a 4-drop again here, so... Okay. Uh, that's a little better. I don't have a demon. That would have been super sick. Imagine if this was, like, a big demon taunt instead. Oh my god. <laughs> that would actually be really cool. So here we'll go Claw Machine and try to value trade it if we can. Hopefully that would be the, the goal. Or, or not value trade it, whatever. But keep it alive so that it evolves. Seems like this might be on board still, though, so there's a chance uh, it evolves, which is fine, I guess. Yeah, what is up with the graphics today? Like, all bugged out. I would rather this get evolved, though. Big 7-drop. Come on. It's a good 5-drop, at least. Okay. Big high stat 5-drop. So Grunt's got uh, some good stuff left. Yeah, actually, yeah. Maligo's probably the weak roll, but Troublemaker would be nuts. The opponent went for that infinite arcane so quick. I don't even know what they're thinking. Like, what's the plan here? Not like, what are you thinking? But more like, what are they thinking? <laughs> what's the goal here? Freeze is annoying. I need... Oh, that's a bad roll. Shoot. Man, these evolve rolls suck. Can you show the card that you played? Infinite arcane? Yeah. It reads, destroy your deck. Each turn, discover a card and put it on top of your deck. It costs two less. Okay, this is good that he's killing this for me. What do I get? Ooh, Mally's the worst. Okay. We had the low roll, unfortunately. Worst case scenario. Cool. Great. I mean, imagine if this were a troublemaker, right? I'd be in business. Onyxia would have been good, too. Instead, I got this garbage. Oh, actually, it's pretty good with Provoke, though, I gotta say. Um, it's much, much better with Provoke. Uh, let's see. What's actually gonna die? Uh, not everything that I need, unfortunately. I think maybe I should have hit a minion with this, actually. I think I made a mistake here. I don't remember the play order, so that changes things a little bit, right? So, like, one of these is alive, basically. I could Rokara attack and then bounce the Rokara and use the Coerce to clear. Is that better than just developing a 7 or 6 8? Actually, I think it is, right? This dude will evolve. But she gets much bigger, right? So this means I have like a clear. Oh! I have no spells, but 
that's gonna be a, a, a big concern for the opponent at least. Okay. Should have required first. Uh, yes, actually, yeah, sure, yeah. If I'd planned it out, yeah, we could have. I think. Um, could have got the Maligos to five to clean those out. Uh, yeah, I guess. What would that have saved me? A coerce. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, I think we actually. Oh, I can't use Grom though to to feed because Grom will freeze. Uh, minefield here's worth what? 11 damage, but I can't play anything else. I think in this case, I still Grom, right? Uh, just hit for four. That's nine. Basically just set up for next turn. I don't want to use the Anto because... Oh, oh, I guess it didn't matter. Yeah, because something's going to get evolved. I don't know. It's 50-50 anyway. That worked out great. Okay, the Frozen card got evolved. That's a plan. So, Rokara hit with Mali. Mali actually would have, gaining one health wouldn't have mattered, but gaining the attack would have cleared the two five health guys. But um, I guess I just would have had three spare mana floated. Like, I just would have had a Coerce to float. That would have been the upside. A Coerce in hand instead of... Uh, no coerce in hand because if i play the rokara i can't play anything else anyway so yeah i guess it's just it's worth a coerce in hand to play the rokara first which actually would have mattered with this anto later i mean god knows we couldn't have known that then but yeah we could have had two spells for two fireballs maybe yeah that's a good thought save yourself a coerce do, do, do. oh bread baker is not bad is that enough to stay alive uh no no, it's not. Cool. It was a wacky game, but we did what we needed, which was um, we won the game. <laughs> I know that's obscene math, but we did what we wanted, which was win the game. Which means we have a chance now to get to Scepter of Summoning. Blood Moon, I mean, I'd like that it has a heal, actually. Like, even if I put it on just, like, you know, like one of those times where I stick a, a random minion late in the game and I'm, like, worried about burst damage and I, like, Blood Moon that minion and it, like, hits twice and I heal for, like, 20. Qualdalar is better early. Like, it gives me a potential weapon to keep up with tempo early. Also, of course, gives me Quadalar outs. I don't actually think Quadalar is that good, though. I'm gonna take Blade anyway, though. I think I think we need the shore up early, the consistency early. Uh, wow, this is quite possibly the worst series of buckets I could have imagined. They're all so bad for our. <laughs> They're so bad, <laughs> so so bad for our big package. Just all tiny minions. I think we take here. Um, Anchorman and Samuro are like the least bad of the uh, minions. They kind of fix some of the Brewster problems. Watch post is pretty good if I get it early. So this is theoretically kind of cool because it's only two small minions, whereas the others of these are three, but I like the cards better here. The rush minions in particular shore up that Brewster weakness. So, all right. So this game doesn't matter so much. I mean, obviously we want to win if we can, but it doesn't matter so much because we will uh, potentially get Scepter Summoning after this game where we really flip the script. That's the plan. Oh, really nice. We got two of our small minions in the mulligan. That is beautiful. Onyxie will be dead forever, but Watch Post is good. Watch Post will evolve into three drops. I'm probably going to quit it on one just to make sure I have plenty of tempo here. It'd be great. Oh, these don't work with my hero power. Remember, we learned that. These don't work. Frozen minions work. These do not work. How have the runs been going? Uh, pretty bad today. We've been trying really, really, really slow stuff. We tried uh, Galvanon quest and taunt quest, like all the Unguro quests, basically. Uh, we've been trying today. I don't know. Coin's so good for us, and he... I can't use the button. I think I just hold. Coin is just so strong for us, right? Getting a grunt down sooner or whatever is nuts. Watch post turns into a three drop. Not being able to button this really sucks. They didn't change that or anything, did they? I'm not, like, out of the loop now. Woo, good start. I need Tar Creeper. 
can I help you? Not a Tar Creeper. Saburo has like no way to get buffed, so he's he is a whirlwind only, really. So they, they take this trade? If not, I get to value trade an evolve again. That would be pretty sick. I need oh wow. Wow! Bestial Wrath! Actually clutch! Unreal! I mean, it's a lot of damage, right? He's got seven damage on board. That puts me at 12 functionally. I, I think I'm I think I'm desperate. I think I have to try. Do I go this way just to make sure that this dies? I guess. Yeah, it's it's better. I don't really care about this being alive so much. Well, it always lives anyway. So yeah, this is definitely the right way to do it. Nice. Oh, good minion too. Yes. Okay, that actually pulls us in the game. Now I have scythe to keep up. I need something to do on five. I need anchorman. I need barricade. I need. Athletic studies, something. Oh, that was a big turn. That was a big turn. I'm feeling okay now. I mean, I think he might have a bit of a slow turn. He, he kind of had this wicked start. The odds of him maintaining this sort of rate of pressure are limited, I'd say. Especially if this minion can, like, kind of value trade a couple times and hang around and keep getting bigger and bigger, right? That's going to be nuts. Oh, Wrangler's, like, a perfect feed for me. Oh, that's great. Okay, we'll kill both of these. I mean, like, a Rhino or something would be gross, but it's fine. I'll get a good six drop here, hopefully. And I have two draws to fill in the gaps for turn five. Then I have this guy for six. Well, that sort of fills in the gaps, I guess. Not exactly, but... This is free, right? This is going to evolve anyway, so there's no reason for me to take the damage or use the durability. Okay, he's, he's big enough, I think. Denies... Well, not a Rhino, actually, but... I don't think they'll have Rhino. That seems unlikely. I never see Rhino in duels. Python certainly okay. Alright, this is fine. Uh Do I do I brawl here? Don't blink. This is a really weird brawl scenario. I, I don't think I brawl, right? I think I just pass, sadly. Oh, I don't know. Keeping this thing alive, though, would be just so insane. Maybe I actually just clear one and don't... Yeah, I think I like this better, right? I think I just... Oh, I don't know, though. That leaves me at nine, functionally. I mean, if I win the brawl, it's a game-winning play, right? If I lose the brawl, I'm in a worse position, obviously, but I guess we'll just try to hit a taunt here or something. I hate being at nine, but this kind of hunter deck doesn't usually have a ton of burst damage, actually. So hopefully we'll see something cool. Oh my god, another Anto. We keep hitting Anto. How does this keep happening? This is wild. <laughs> okay, they might feel like they have to kill the Anto. I don't know. I hate being functionally at 9, but like I said, they're not known for a ton of burst damage like these Death Rattly decks. So hopefully, maybe he feels like he's got to work on this. He's got like a Rush minion in hand because he's got backpacks. Trades in. I develop a Cowardly Grunt. The Grunt dies and turns into a Grom. Functionally nine. That describes my brain. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I like goofing around, acting like a kid. I feel you there. Functionally nine. <laughs> oh man, is this the whole turn? No way. What's this? What's this? What could this be? It's going face. Ah, Scorpion. Okay. Um. There's one pro. Oh no, there's not really a problem here. We can actually. Uh, oh man. Uh, yeah, I'll hit here. We'll trade with Anto. Then I'll run the grunt into the uh, Scorpion idiot. Yeah, this is fine. I don't want to take the damage for sure. So we. And I. I want the grunt to die. So I actually want it to hit the Scorpion, right? Um. And I don't want the Anto to die. So I need it to hit the four four. Basically concocting the scenario where I take the least amount of damage and I get the board state that I want. Rom is nice. Okay. I think I would have preferred Troublemaker technically, but... Yeah, that's actually fine. That's about the same as Grom would have been when he's evolved or, I mean, damaged or whatever. So, same difference probably. Troublemaker would have been the biggest board though and, like, most immediate damage output. So, uh, we don't have any Anto support right now. Like, we need a studies or something maybe. Could play like claw machine athletic studies for the Anto, but 
That's what I'm kind of wish he'd gotten involved, really, right? If he'd been something bigger, it could have been nice. Does that trade into Anto? Oh, you don't need to because you have these idiot spiders. Wow. I don't. This card never gets run in Death Battle Duels Hunter, but it's really good. Why doesn't it? It seemed nuts. That was actually crazy good. Well, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Uh, oh, I don't have any rush minions left. Oh, this is really going to hurt. Oh, man. Do I try to keep this alive so that it evolves into an A drop here, or do I just let this go? Like, drawing a card doesn't really do anything meaningful here. I don't really need to draw the card, right? So let's just do it this way. Well, that draws the card anyway. This is fine. I mean, I mean, what's the difference? It, it's going to get poisoned anyway. I guess that means he doesn't have face, maybe? Uh, I don't know. This sucks. That was a really good play. The tarantula guy was perfect. The fact that these have rush makes them nuts. Like, I never see this played in duels. It's really, really good, though. I've played so many Death Rattle Hunters, and it's like nobody nobody seems to play that. He's going face with it. Oh, my God. No. What? Ugh. <laughs> what? Oh my. <sighs> I'm like screwed, right? I just like don't, I don't have it, right? I, I can claw machine into the thing and I'll technically be alive. Like that's fine, but how do I win? How do I win, you know? I don't really win like this. I just stay alive. Can't, oh, I can't actually hold up yet. Uh. Get a two part trade here. Basically, leave him with one dude. Oh, this might be a win condition, actually. That could be a win condition. Yeah, maybe a lucky brawl. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could just try to taunt through some stuff. Wow. Is that any good? Yes, it's insane. Oh, not that insane. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's more insane! Roll coerce here technically is enough, okay. I guess if the Cat Rita could get two things, actually. Oh, she's out of stuff, thank god, okay. Okay, thank god for that. I mean, is there a world where he's, like, out of stuff? Okay, that's actually... Oh, the taunt makes that a huge problem. Oh. It honestly wasn't a problem without the taunt, because I could have just hit it and then... Oh, shoot. Like, Deathwing now just leaves him with a 5-8. Oh, I just hero power the 5-8. Oh my god, this is actually insane then. Yeah, of course. Of course. Just hero power the 5-8. Oh my god. This is actually insane. Is this enough to win? That was all my stuff, unfortunately. But now if I can just stick a tin drop. <laughs> God, this is not a tin drop. Uh... <laughs> if I can stick a tin drop. Oh God. Commencement into Malagos would still be insane here. Like, Malagos would be nice because... Oh, wow! Resizing power... Wait, why... Wait, why take the damage? Wait, why take the damage? Wait. Why take the damage? He just gave me an out. Oh, I'm dying to fatigue now, though. Oh, God. Oh, God, I don't have time. I'm dying to fatigue. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, my God. I... Oh, my God. I give you an A in field study. Stop. 
stargazing. There's so many cool hero powers to get that with, and this is not one of them. I mean, Discs of Legend is like sort of insane, but we're gonna die. I, I don't have time. I needed, I needed, I needed Scepter of Summoning. It's not Battle Totem or Stargazing though. I mean, they're just not good enough, so. Whatever. Crowley is actually really good with Discs. Probably just take that. Town Crier is okay too. It gives me more Rush Minions for um, Brewster. Yeah, yes, if we can get to turn nine, two Rattlegores are indeed annoying, but it's that it's that first part of that sentence that's tough. <laughs> it's the getting to turn nine part. I think we're I think we're screwed. It's actually a pretty good uh, mulligan though. From these two. I mean we don't want these guys yet, but Oh wow, this is a great hand, actually. Of course we had a good hand last game, we couldn't get there, so. <laughs> Fire shape or caltrips? Okay, we don't care about caltrips too much. Party portal already? What is this nonsense? Am I gonna have to hit the party portal twice? Come on. No, do I minefield the party portal? How bad could it really be? It can't be that bad, right? I don't want to send forward image into it. It can't, it can't be that bad. It can't, it can't be that bad. I don't, I don't believe that it could be that bad. I can take shopkeep to kill it next turn if I want. I kind of like holding for claw machine, but. Whispers of the old god is in the pool. Ever changing elixir is pretty bad for the ten drops. Yeah, that, that seemed like it. Yeah, man, we got some garbage. I'll say. Well, okay, this is no longer a guaranteed kill. Minefield's one off. It's a pretty good mini to get, by the way. Like getting an extra card out of it there for nothing, basically. That's pretty clutch. Just play for 50-50 here, right? It doesn't really matter either way. It's fine. We either remove some some pressure or um, kill the portal. Hit the portal, thankfully. Got a little value trade here, too. I wouldn't say this is much of a four drop, but, you know, whatever. I'll take it. You cannot quell our flames. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The ten drop pool seems really bad. I mean, we're not like playing for ten drops specifically. We just happen to have a few of them, you know. Okay. Actually, got a lot of our bad minions out already. This is kind of cool. Samuro doubles up as well, so Samuro's actually pretty decent tempo here, even without any sort of buffs or anything. Yeah, Rattlegore is looking a lot worse uh, with the tin drop pool. That's it. Now that we get two Rattlegores, one will hang around at least for a turn. It's going to be hard to protect against Elixir normally, but might be a little better than average, at least. All right, let's just get some dudes down. Kind of don't hate this, but... Oh. We like this. We like this. Getting five drops is nice. All right, just Kabbalist Tome, really, huh? Okay. I guess I want this other Samuro to roll, right? All right? This hits either Crowley or... Oh, that's not bad, though. I need armor if I can stick that. Oh, nice. Ping that with Fire Shaper, please. Still could ping it. I don't care. Ugh, really? Come on. Ping it. Ping it! Just Nat Drew Crowley. Double Crowley it is. This will hit Brewster, but I think I'm out of rush minions, weirdly. <laughs> really need this crash to get hit. Oh, I got Rabbit Worgen. Okay, cool. That's good. It's not bad. Crowley's probably weren't going to accelerate anyway. Crash, get pinged. I wouldn't even mind a flame strike here, honestly, just to get some heals. Frostbolt, ping the crash, please. Close. Flame Ward. Oh my god, their pings are just going face now. <laughs> is this real? How often is this garbage? <laughs> You're right, actually, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Crystal Chip would have been better because Elixir's just ruined our day ten times. Yeah, it's, it's low rolled so much. Please ping the crash. I don't have any way to damage the crash unless this is like uh, a flame ward. Just favor. I mean, do I have lethal or anything? I mean, I have a lot of damage, but no way to get extra damage. 
I needed a way here to summon a minion for my opponent so that I could bounce the crash into it. You know? Ooh, oh, that's good! Okay, I mean, they might just go face. They may not care about this, but that's still pretty good. Biscuit doesn't do anything. It's pinging. Oh my god. How are these pings all hitting face and nothing on the crash? <laughs> I swear to god. Every ping goes face. It's like they're playing priest. That finally had a minion, but still not the crash. Oh, oh, they played a minion. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They played a minion. That means the crash might be able to bounce. Uh, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, they're just dead. Okay, cool. Wow. <laughs> Everything went face. I don't know how we won that game. I don't even, we didn't even do anything. That just was utter just nonsense. Reflections is kind of cool, but I actually think I like Gnomish Army Knife. It, it could just be a win, right? And it's the heals. If I just stick it on a solid minion, though, it's just, it's just, you know, a win. This is good. This deck, dude, what, what is happening? It is hot garbage, but we're getting there somehow. Flexions with Elixir, a lot, so many of you think Elixir hits all minions. Is that what it is in the like dungeon run or something? Elixir only hits one minion, guys. It only hits one minion. Everybody seems to think it hits two or it hits the whole board. Is that, that must be what it does in the dungeon, right? Because it's just such a common, uh, a common belief. It must be familiar for that reason. Battle Totem and Rogue. Okay, we don't see that a lot. What is Battle Totem and Rogue gonna do? I don't know, this is another great opener though. Particularly Crowley. Oh, Quest Battle Totem's kinda cool. Get double uh, gizmos and stuff. Might want to push this weapon sooner rather than later for the scythe. Uh, we can coin a Crowley on four, though, if we need to, so. Elixir's the same in Heist. Huh, I wonder why everybody thinks it does the whole board then, because it's a very common question or belief. Well, it's just fine. It takes two seconds to sort it out, but it's just a very common uh, thought people have. Oh, Razor Petal, okay. Damage incoming. It's going to be a tough one. Gore, bro. Oh, I like the lifesteal a lot. Okay, that's good. Uh, I don't think we coin a three drop though, or a four drop. So let's just, I may attack face like next turn. If I think I'm gonna need a scythe and there's no minion to attack or whatever. I think coin Crowley's so good that I, it's not something I wanna pass up, right? It's very powerful. Oh, here's perfect minion to hit. Great, great, great. I need a three drop. I need, I need uh watch post, town crier, worgen. Okay, sure, that's the three drop. Thank you. Four drop? Yeah. Sort of a four drop, I guess. I don't know. I, I say like I say it like, oh I love this minion as if the minion's actually relevant. Like it's gonna like it's gonna live. I mean there's a chance, right? They always can live, but you never know. Speaking of which, like, is this Crowley actually gonna which is the buffed Crowley gonna be the one that uh that hangs around or the other one, right? You never know. Like, which one gets evolved? I mean, theoretically, the four healths is worth as much as the six damage anyway. Oh my god. These elixirs, bro. These elixirs, bro. I haven't gotten but like two well-statted minions this entire run. And I don't think I've gotten a good effect at all, have I? I've had like 10 fails Two, like, pretty solid, at least, like, I remember the Benedictus was a pretty solidly statted minion. Um, but it, I don't think I've had any, like, good effects. I guess that heal guy against the mage, although it didn't matter. He was a pretty good roll. That was the best roll we've had, I think. Good news is, if there's minions on board, I can force the healing here, so that's nice. Even if it doesn't stick around. All right, I don't think that matters much. Our hand is looking okay, actually. This is one of those interesting dilemmas where... No, I guess it's not really. We just, we just hope that the two, three gets evolved here, right? It's a, it's a one and three. Heal a little bit. Come on. 
Oh. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't have any demons, so... I mean, it just... I mean, I'm glad the life still lived. I, that's kind of cool, but I mean, really, guys? Really, game? These are my six drops of choice. These. These six drops. Alright. I don't have any demons, right? I'm not forgetting. This this better be the best seven drop on earth, I swear to god. <sighs> I mean, it's I'll take it, honestly. Like, okay. That's I I, I can't expect any more than this, so. Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, it's not a total absolute failure. It was gonna get cleared anyway, it looks like, so okay, perfect. Even better. Uh, don't chat us at that guy. Uh, oh, that's fine too. I can still kill that. Brewster here will actually do some work. We have Stone Maul in deck and Samuro in deck, so that's enough to make this worthwhile. And of course, there's two of them! We put one of these at one, you think, or uh, leave them both at three. You could have uh, the weapon that deals three. I think I think it's just like this. It's fine. Hopefully. Okay, it's just fine. Whatever. Samuro was the high roll, but it's all good. This is a, a sufficiently strong turn. So Rot Face is actually pretty sweet now. I think two rot faces is probably better than a troublemaker, right? It's close, but I think so. Oh, yikes. Take it eight still, that's good. That's good. Yeah, we'll rot face. I mean, the troublemaker is a 9 11. Does that uh, set up lethal or anything? I have five. Well, six. I guess not. Rot face though doesn't kill the scabs, so maybe it is the troublemaker. I think we hit and then troublemaker, right? I'm invincible. Then I have a really good board as well. You're in my school now. Rot face is just too small to value trade, so. So they have a giant handful of gear. Oh! <laughs> they burn. <laughs> Gizmos and then burn their ring. I mean, I think the Gizmos are probably technically a better hand, right? But still, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh boy. That is amazing. On turn nine, yeah, it was like perfect. Uh, okay. Yeah, trying to clear like this. Oh, that was a good roll for me. Uh, my 3-3 lives, I just have lethal with uh, Reapers. I, I, I like sort of want to play the Rot Faces, but I guess I'll have to take the lethal. I mean, I think they're just not there, right? It's just, it's hard they know they're fine, but Reaper attack here wins, okay. I guess they knew something. I don't know how, okay? I do not know how, but we've managed to take this absolute utter piece of garbage luck, which I think we all know has been, it's, oh, this is actually pretty cool with um, Discs of Legend. We're gonna take Kobold. <laughs> we've taken this just utter piece of garbage deck and managed to turn it into something halfway decent. I like Frizz, actually. I get two of them. It's kind of cool. I, I don't need two O-Carts. I don't need Tar Lords. Those are slow. This is, like, faster and more reactive, so... Whatever. I don't know about reactive, but higher tempo, anyway. I think we've had the worst RNG imaginable. Honestly. Just just the worst you could possibly fathom. Possibly? That's not a word. Possibly fathom, but somehow it, we've, we've saved it. Now, that's going to mean we lose immediately here, but that's okay. It's actually a fantastic opening hand. Amazing. <laughs> you're, tr you're trusting to get good legendaries from Kobold? Yeah, I know, right? It'll be like, I don't know. What's the word? It'll be like three Dusk Quality Vianas. I don't even think she's in the pool, but God knows we'll figure out a way. 
Crystal Gem and Discs of Legend. Okay, that's the world we could have lived in if we'd only, only chosen the other one. Yeah, I think we want to get this rolling, don't we? Uh, I think we take Watch Post here. Uh, Historian technically has some rolls that might be a little better, right? Um, watch Post, and I can use Historian with Button technically, which is not great, obviously, but you know, technically. Oh boy. Okay, well, this is fine. Actually, Minefield here is just good enough. Okay, cool. Wow. Actually decent minefield there. That might have kept us in this game. Who knows? Nanners aren't bad with scythe. And we hit the dragon for the historian, so that's clutch. Man, who is this guy? Oh, we gave him a Crowley times two with discs of legend. <sighs> that sucks. That actually really, really sucks. <sighs> it's two eight eights. I mean, it's not bad, right? I don't really need the amalgams. I can't, we gave him two Crowleys, dude. That's tough. It's really tough. Okay, that's not bad. Ah, oh, he has such a good discs deck, man. It's so good. Wait, why not trade the three two? You know, I'm Hitting it anyway. Ooh, Frizz is pretty solid. Which means we gave him a Frizz! Oh, boy. Not awesome. So now he's got the Crowley, right? Oh, no good roll there. He's got two Crowleys, which you hate to be the second Crowley because uh, my Crowleys aren't going to be big enough to trade into his Crowleys. I can't, I can't trade, I, like, I'm just negative trading usually, which means I'm leaving behind armaments. Oh, oh, he's still playing Crowley, right? No, he's going Rokara, huh? Wait, these aren't that good on this board. Why not play, he got Crowleys, right? I'm not insane. Huh, I feel like this gives me a bit of a window here. Because these can't attack, which means I can just use Scythe. Wait, he's just hard trading them? Oh, whoa. I feel like this gives me um, a chance here. It's not in a great spot. Oh, rabbit. You mean, but that's that's exactly what happens to the... Oh, Ofa. The Rokaras also die, but they do it worse, right? Like they don't, well, I mean, he, he floated so much mana. I think I, if, if everything's dying, I think I would still just play the thing that fills the mana instead of floating mana, right? I don't know, maybe I missed it, I don't know. Jeez, he just keeps hitting nuts. Um, okay, we can clear both of these. He gets a ton of armor, but that doesn't really matter. We don't care about that. So I actually want to make one of these a 4-4-4 four, four, four Crowley. I think. Next turn I play not. Oh my god. I forgot about another. Of course, why would I ever anticipate winning the 50 50? I should have split the stats, maybe, in that case. Oh, run thacks are actually even worse than Crowley's. That's horrifying. I can kill one, play double Nas, but I, I, maybe I have to rely on Deathwing here to. to get me out of this. I don't want to provoke, really, because. I get to buff again. Yeah, I can't provoke here. I just gotta clear these up normally. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. I, I swear, I just like, where? One Tyrion! Like, one Tyrion! At least it did hit the one that got uh, uh, attacked. That's an upside. I'll, I'll, I'll take that, honestly. Just one Tyrion, though. Give my life for a Tyrion. This is really strong. Is it too early to Deathwing? Too early to Deathwing? Oh, Brewster's kind of good. But he can only attack once. He hits a Claw Machine or a Worgen or a Samuro. 
All of which suck. Claw, I mean, claw machine doesn't totally suck, but it's not great. I do get two of them, though. So that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I think getting two of them certainly makes it worth it. Because worst case, I can clear the board, right? Claw machine's very nice. Do I want another rush minion or just the Brewster? I think I just want the Brewster, right? And, and actually getting a card in hand here is pretty good. That's a good card to get as well. Okay. Uh, I guess... Oh my god! I'm <laughs> scene! I cannot take it! God! I, I mean, just... <laughs> Just one minion! Just one! I'm gonna hold on to Deathwing because I, I think I can try. I think I can grunt, coerce, and it's like I'm not dead usually, right? Actually, it could be. 16 and 3 is 19. It could be, actually, yeah. I think it's just Deathwing. I'm losing, like, most of my hand. I hope I keep, what, a grunt? I could trade, I guess, here and still Deathwing. See what I find. Would I rather lose the Provoke, though, or a new card? I think I'd rather lose the Provoke. Oh, this guy's deck is nuts. Yeah, he, he definitely started with a full legendary deck, I think. Oh, Grunt is a good keep. Okay. God, his deck is so perfect for this. I honestly don't know how I'm still in the game. I feel like I should have lost 20 minutes ago. Another set of... Wait, were those my Crowleys? Oh, we had two, and the first one was two. Of course, yeah, they're my Crowleys. Uh... Oh, pretty good roll, actually. Can I snipe the 6-6? Six, six? Oh! That's not bad either, actually. Scorpion's okay. Well, I can kill it, I guess. Not that good. I still think I'm losing, unless he just somehow ran out of legendaries. Oh, boy. Oh, God. I'm just dead. Oh... Well, that's that. That concludes the most hellish duels around of all time. I kind of, I'm going to ask you guys, I kind of think that was YouTube worthy, actually. Just how obscenely unlucky we got. What do you think? Would you guys say that was YouTube worthy? Despite only winning three, just because it was fun. YouTube worthy for sure. I think it was worth it for how bad it was. I think the fact that we managed to squeak a couple games out of that run is kind of remarkable. I mean, it's just a lot. I mean, well, bad luck and good luck kind of occasionally, right? I don't even know who we beat, that rogue or something.